for the person to do the mitzvah. That's what's Aaron is that way, Kabbalah, myself. So I want to explain a little bit in the physical sense a little bit about this itself. Instead of changing the word sab, we'll say the word to be alert. Be alert. Because he has to push harder here. Now, in other words, he has to know to please Hashem for his, to reach the optimum which he has to perform to be successful. So, all of his body, all of his being has to have some physiological changes that his body has to be on the, on the highest part of alertness. The adrenal glands are going to give adrenaline in it. His pulse rate is going to increase. The heartbeat fat and sugar are extracted from those that give more energy. Blood pressure rise. I'm reading this book here when it comes stress comes. Rate of breathing is increased. The hearing is more acute. Everything the whole body is now on alert. To make sure that all this energy, all this being is going to go forward with everything he got. In other words, there's going to be a whole physical change when there's a tzav for Hashem, there's also a problem, you know. Why does Hashem have to command them? Why? You have a suffix, you have a doubt, and uh, maybe, is it not a vadai because there's no, there's a vadai he won't use his energy, it's only a suffix that sins. There's a chisar and mamon here, so the melee, there's a good chance he won't use his energy all the way, but it could be he would. I'm not saying vadai he won't. It's possibly, yeah, possibly not. But Hashem wants to make sure that that uh, it will happen. Wants to make sure that uh, that in the performance, it's going to perform has to be on his full being, his whole function. Everything has to be there just so. And any possibility of any type of not being there, Hashem has to prevent what will cause him that if he has money, so we mentioned that money alone, Hashem give, them, get Hashem give him money, so if you'll bring an Ola, I'll give you two bags of candy. No, he wanted him to make sure that on his own, even in a matzah where he doesn't have a, a when he has a chisar and kiss, according to the second shot in Rashi, but he is a chisar and kiss, still you have to change yourself with another strength, another being, another push in yourself, another dimension, another quantum leap in order to gain the shlemus that you need in order to perform the special function in the in the Beis Hamikdash. Explain what the function is, is the Yichud Hashem. All the forces is very important. If it's missing, we said if a concept, a half of a concept is, is no concept. A quarter of a concept is not a concept. nothing, either all or none. And if he had to perform totally. So his whole being had to change, his whole mahus. So I, I said, I tried to explain, say somebody, you have a child, you want him to do something, y'all hey! Right away. He gets, he gets excited, his junior, he gets nervous, he, he starts getting tense. For Aaron, he needed a Tziv Hashem. A tziv Hashem is, is another push with your Shemayim, another push of Avas Hashem, another push that gets him more alert and ready and to, and, and to push himself to the highest degree that he can produce. And he knows that uh, that Hashem has to push him because he knows that the human body and the frailties of the being is such that uh, there's a chance he won't succeed. There's a chance he could succeed, but there's a chance also he can't succeed. So therefore, he needs that added dimension for himself and for his children. Because in order for the children to perform, it stems from the father. If the father performs, so then there's chances the kids will perform. The father has to then tell the kids to perform. Like like a family like a family trait. The 
father will perform, then the kids will perform. The father gets a tzivu, so the father has to tell the kids a tzivu. He has to know to stress the importance and explain the kriches and nefesh that will be there. I wanted to explain today was simply that the tzav also has dimensions that affects physiologically the person. Besides the spiritual push of of the Yerat Shemayim and knowing this is what Hashem wants you to do, and you know that it's not just a Ratzon, but a, a Tzav, it also has physiological, a lot of psychological pushes that push the person another dimension forward. The thing I wanted to talk about was the Trumas Hadeshen. The Trumas Hadeshen thing that the Kohen Gadol is going to be doing is a Trumas Hashanah. When is Trumas at the night? In the, between the the Ola uh, Shachel till the Netzach When is exactly the Trumas Hadeshen? It's a Shaila. Person says at night, and the Rambam seems to be from Ola Shachar. The Rambam learns there's two mitzvahs. One is the mitzvah of uh, of uh, just gathering the beginning. To take it out is not. Other people say that it is. Uh, some other people say that uh, uh, definitely. So what is the concept of Trumas Adeshin? So we have a few concepts. One is that from the whole day of the Avoida that was done during the day, at night the Avorim were burnt. So they want to claim that also by the, the Desh itself also has Kedusha. It's not that it's finished or to get rid of the old to make the new. Some people, the Ramban learns to get rid of the old to make the new. That's as far as the bottom part to take it out. But actually, uh, the, the, the remaining parts of the Avorim that were still burning or burnt already and the ashes are there still has a Kedusha. It's, the day was not finished yet. It still had, a, it still had the Kedusha from the, from, the, the de, from, the, from the day before. It was the day they brought the carbon of Tomid, the Ola, or whatever they brought. And then at night they burnt the Avarim. And the burning was only by the Kohanims there, nobody else. And, uh, and, uh, nobody's in the base Migdash at that time at night, because nobody brought Karbonus at night. And they burnt the parts. Now came the time to, to take care of the ashes. Not to get rid of the ashes, but to take care of the ashes that were burning the, and they still have Kedusha. So the Kohen Gadol has to wear his garments, the Kedusha, because it's uh, Shalas and Avoidas, and Ketoras is an Avoida, what is it? And what is the Chumas Adesha? What is that? It definitely has Kedusha, and it's needed to be handled with Begadim, the proper Begadim. There's it still a carryover from the day, it's still as holy. Is it that night or be after the other sagever? The machlokas, be shown him. But so the question was, why does the kain that would do certain with such a which still has kedusha? It has kedusha, so the mele needs to begot him. And it appears the kain gadol does it. Our owner is commanded to do it. Explain why. Explain it gives, it gives humbleness, it, the cleaning, this, that. But it, it is necessary for the kind Gadol to uh, to do it. And is it sivui that you shouldn't mezalze you can also on that part to do every part that's needed in the right way. This reason would be because you have to do truma sadasha, then you have to do the carbon atomid. They have to do the marocha. They have to do the. They have to do the. Uh, they have to do the uh, the hatova for the for the neiros, and then that the tamasha, which the order is. And everything has to be done. Uh, they do before elus hashacha, before the the netzachama. Just how can you do a cover the before the netzachama? Just be baboke. Okay, well they answer the different problems. But it needs a lot of work to be done at the time, and the kain has to be Zara's to do that, to do it properly, give the proper cover. To take it out is a shayla. 
take it out every day, the Rambam says. Other people say, no, and it's only filled up. Is it, is it, is it a mitzvah? Is it not a mitzvah? What is it? Okay, there's no problem there. But he has to change his other begotten, the two begotten. But every part, but we see the Kohen Gadol, how to do that part. So they explain that there's nothing, it, it, it's a, like a, I, the Kohen Gadol, what should I do? I should, uh, first I should, uh, only the important great work I should do. How can I do anything less than great work? Tell them, no, the first job you do is to, if you hold according to the Rambam, <coughs> it was done from the Eilas Hashacha, that you were not according to Tulsa, Tulsa is at night, that um, your job is to, uh, with Begodim, to uh, clean the uh, Chumas Adeshin, it still has holiness, it still has little little parts, to have to be, you still have to have value to even, even Eifer, even Eifer, you got a value, it has Kedusha, you have to wear the Godim in order to do it. It's nothing. And therefore, it make, will make the Kohen Godel, uh, when he does this, uh, humble. And humility is the one of the basic qualities that is needed in the Avedis Amikdosh. In order to be able to be the one who's miyached all the uh, forces in the world together, this one spot. I want to add that, that other piece there, the, the Chuma Sadesh and what's about. I want to ch- add the part of, uh, of uh, that it's also a physiological thing. Those two parts are one of the activity. But what I said on Friday. Yes. So I explained, I explained that, uh, and this is my comment about my Rosh Shiva, that since the whole Tachlis in the, in the, uh, of the uh, Migdash for the Kohen was to miyachet all the forces together. We said a concept, if you don't, if you don't have yichet as a concept of putting together, of elevating the physical with the spiritual, we explained the, that the four parts of the domain and Tzomeach and Chai and Medaber, all is in all the Karbanos and how you put the forces together and all the whole Migdash itself is together and the Kohen is the Medaber that puts it all together and his Machshav has value and his heart has to be valuable. It makes a big difference in carbon oil, in machshav, etc. So therefore, if it's missing in, in, in the shlemus adorat, it's, it's like gone. That's like a concept. If you're missing in shlemus, you don't have shlemus. You can't have half shlemus. I don't know. I don't know. Of course, he's a uh, mitzvah. Mitzvah is a part of physical aspect. Is he doing his function as the machaber of the shlemus of the yichud? No. With a carbon or close a carbon. And if he slows down and he works slowly in his own time, I take my time, Rabbi. My time, my place, my space. He can take his time. So what would you say? If he's missing Zrizus, let's say there was no sequence, and because of money he would he would work slower. And he did the work, what would you say? Did he do it in the church? He did it in the But in Migdash there's another quality, and that's what the Mafarshim explained, the Yikharasha. They have, to, they have to explain it in a new dimension, another dimension. They have to add this dimension. What is, what, what is it? So he's slow. So he's slow. He does a thorough job slow. No. He does it in his time and his space. He'll do it all. Don't worry. He's missing the Zrezus. He's missing the, the impetus. He's missing the, 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 the incentive. He's missing the, the passion. He's missing the... Uh, the, uh, the force, he's missing Yerat Shemayim, he's not breaking through. He's not showing, there's a barrier between him and Hashem yet. Because he has to have the Shlemus, it's a barrier. As long as he doesn't have the Shlemus, he's missing the barrier. So for his doing his function, the, the spiritual function, so to speak, main avoid this, so that's what's needed. A Raila Dov Hashem makes it seem. Nobody says he's not going to do it. Nobody says they want to be Zorid. So no shy, he's gonna, what's he going to do the work? I mean, everybody does it. Every car is going to do the job. Well, he, that's what he wants to do. But he's missing this Jesus and the Shleim is So Hashem has to make it sivoy, because that's needed. And then you see, that's a needed quality. As he yotes, of course he yotes. But, it, but, it, but it's missing in the quality 
of what is happening or the essence of what's supposed to be done in the Mikdash, which is the Yichar Hashem. And anything missing in the Yichar, missing in the Shlemus, is not Shlemus. You can say half Shlemus, you can get a, a mitzvah. But the Shlemus Hadova, it's not. Half Shlemus is not Shlemus. <laughs> here especially. Here, because the whole Tachlis here is, is, is in the Shlemus of the Yichar Hashem. In the, in the Mikdash, that's the whole thing. That's the whole tachlis, he's missing the tachlis. That's his job, he's preparing all year long, he's selecting among all the kohanim, he's the kohen godol, to produce that shlemus. He's like a performer. People pay money for the professional person to perform. Imagine a professional person doesn't perform. You want your money back. Guy tries, he tried. But a professional person who's supposed to know it all and perform, doesn't perform right, he plays the violin and misses a, a C minus. Everybody in the, in the audience who's listening to the symphony jumps up and down. Say, Mr. C minor, and they write in the newspapers that Bernstein or whatever the guy's name is, you know, in, his, in his orchestra exactly did not perform with the right harmony and this guy was off and that guy was off. They get nervous. There's a whole uh, symphony going on in the middle. Can He especially, Hashem, is asking for it and demands it. But we see the Kaychis HaNefesh. We see from here, the Madach, the Kohen Godel, Aaron is this way. So when we do mitzvahs, surely we have so many barriers in our Gaiva, Taiva, and Kova that stops us from the Shlemus. So surely we need Zerizas, we need Zerizas, we, we need a change. So one solution would be, give me the money. Like the kid will say, give me the gifts, give me the candy, you need a ride, you need a bicycle. Give me the trip to Europe, whatever you want. But the other way would be is no. That uh, I'd rather shape yourself up better and use psychology and, and, and get the impetus that you should become the Oda Mashole. I should make some after to make the Oda Mashole. We mentioned that uh, that uh, this person who uh, his wife died and he needed to feed the baby, the little newly born baby. So uh, Hashem made a nest that his breast got bigger and he was able to feed the baby milk. The first says, why didn't you give him Parnassah? The Chumar says, why didn't you give him Parnassah? So my answer is because it's like Kriyas Yamsa. Parnassah is like Kriyas Yamsa. In other words, Hashem could send him a few dollars. What's the problem? And you'll ever take the money and hire a, a woman there and feed the baby. And Hashem says, no, no, Parnassah, money? Money. Don't get to me. Parnassah not so many. Special money. It makes a nest a change of the body of the man in order to have the milk to make a breast of it. So you see that it's not so easy? So here Hashem's not going to give him the money. He's going to give him the, the, make him change his mahus to be the other mashalim. He changes one clothing with the other clothing. Changing clothing for the, for the, uh, for the, uh, the change of clothing. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say any other question. Okay.